When on my head huge sorrows fell, I sought your heavenly aid. You saved my sinking soul from hell and death's eternal shame. Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Monday, September the 23rd. It's the 18th week after Pentecost in week 5 in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 79, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 to 21. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, source of all being, we confess that we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We beseech you to overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may the almighty and merciful God forgive us of all our sins in Jesus' holy name. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, O oh God, the heathen have come into your land and defiled your holy temple. Alleluia, Psalm 79. Alleluia, O God, the heathen have come into your land, and they have defiled your holy temple and laid waste to Jerusalem. The dead bodies of your servants have been given as food to the birds of the air and the flesh of your saints to the beasts of the earth. Their blood has been shed like water all around Jerusalem, and there was none to bury them. We have become a reproach to our neighbors, the object of scorn and derision to all around us. How long, O oh God, will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? Pour out your wrath on the heathen that have not known you, and on the nations that have not called on your name. For they have devoured your people and laid waste to their dwelling. Do not remember our past iniquities. Let your tender mercies be swift to meet us for we are brought very low. Help us, O God, of our salvation, for the glory of your name, and deliver us and purge our sins for your name's sake. Why should the heathen say, Where is their God? Let us see you avenge the blood of your servants. Let the sign of the prisoner come before you, and spare those that are condemned to die. And repay to our neighbors sevenfold the reproaches with which they reviled you. So we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture will give you thanks forever. We will show forth your praise to all generations. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. O oh God, the heathen have come into your land and have defiled your holy temple. Alleluia. The lesson is from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 4, beginning at verse 8. Already you have all you want. Already you have become rich. Quite apart from us, you have become kings. Indeed, I wish that you had become kings, so that we might be kings with you. For I think that God has exhibited us apostles as last of all, as though sentenced to death. Because we have become a spectacle to the world, to angels and to mortals, we are fools for the sake of Christ, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are held in honor, but we in disrepute. 
to the present hour we are hungry and thirsty, poorly clothed, beaten, and homeless, and we grow weary from the work of our own hands. When reviled, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. When slandered, we speak kindly. We have become like the rubbish of the world, the dregs of all things to this very day. I'm not writing you this to make you ashamed, but to admonish you as my beloved children. For though you might have 10,000 guardians in Christ, you do not have many fathers. Indeed, in Christ Jesus, I became your father through the gospel. I appeal to you then, be imitators of me. For this reason, I sent you Timothy, who is my beloved and faithful child in the Lord, to remind you of my ways in Christ Jesus, as I teach them everywhere in church, in every church. But some of you thinking that I am not coming to you have become arrogant. But I will come to you soon, if the Lord wills, and I will find out not the talk of these arrogant people, but their power. For the kingdom of God depends not on talk, but on power. What would you prefer? Am I to come to you with a stick or with love in a spirit of gentleness? Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. We thank you, O God, for bringing us safely to the end of this day. We thank you, dear Lord, for a new job and for all the blessings that you have granted us. Deliver us from hardness of heart. Forgive us our sins and offenses, that your light may shine forth from us. For all who seek you, tender God, that they may find and be found. That your will may be done in all that we undertake to the benefit of ourselves, our families and friends, the church and all people. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another in all of our lives to Christ our God and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Have compassion on us, O God. Do not remember our sins. Forgive us and deliver us. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.